Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good so far. Let's see. On our prayer requests, Corina's sister Laura is still no better. Uh, her lung is bleeding and has a clot. She's only 37 years old. Also pray for her husband Jesse and her children Mariah, Sadie, and Jay. Pat Anderson needs prayers for the healing of her legs. She goes back to the doctor. Well, she went back yesterday. And uh, the doctor said that is it is healing. So uh, she may be able to walk soon. She'll have to go through some therapy. Brenda Hubbard asked for our continued prayers. Kathy Mulligan's grandson has an unspoken request. Jeff was in the emergency room Friday for shortness of breath and chest pains. His EKG and blood work was good, so they sent him home. Beth's niece and her husband and her toddler all tested positive for COVID. Pray they'll be okay. And Diane Parker is having her eye surgery today. Colleen's cousin, Dwayne, who hurt his back, is doing much better. Kim's friend, Marion, passed away. Pray for her family, especially her grandson. They were close. Beth has a cancer checkup. Well, she had that. She'll have that today. Pray it goes well. And Kim and Kim's aunt Linda was having chest pains and trouble, trouble breathing and was taken by ambulance to the hospital. Pray she'll be okay. And Kim's aunt Dawn's test came back negative. Her white cells are a little low. They think it might be a pulled muscle and kept her overnight. And for me, my blood pressure has been really high. Um, pray the med will help that I'm on will help it get under control. Um, I may have to go call. I may have to at least call them or something if it doesn't get any better. I mean, it's been high ever since yesterday when I got upset about the hospital charging me over a thousand dollars for my infusion where they they messed up again this was back in october but i just got the bill yesterday and then they send you the collections you know if you're late so if you don't even get the bill for four months you know how is that my fault but uh, they messed up again on my infusion and got my med from the wrong place and now they're trying to charge me 1025 this is the sixth time they've done this to me sixth time they keep doing this and messing up, and then they charge me. It's only supposed to be $160 that I owe because I'm on a patient assistance program. But, but no, it was $1,025. So you can imagine why I was so upset. I'm probably getting upset just talking about it. So I don't think I'm going to say anymore. My blood pressure went through the roof. I mean, I'm talking high enough to cause a stroke or something. Okay. Our uh, scripture of the day comes from Deuteronomy 31, 1 through 8. Yeah, I don't need to get upset like that. Okay, then Moses went out and spoke these words to all Israel. I am now 120 years old, and I am no longer able to lead you. The Lord has said to me, You shall not cross the Jordan. The Lord your God himself will cross over ahead of you. He will destroy these nations before you, and you will take possession of their land. Joshua also will cross over ahead of you, as the Lord said. And the Lord will do to them what he did to Sihon and Og, the kings of the Amorites, whom he destroyed along with their land. The Lord will deliver them to you, and you must... Do to them what I have commanded you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Then Moses summoned, summoned Joshua and said to him in the presence of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you must go with these this people into the land 
that the Lord swore to their ancestors to give them, and you must divide it among them as their inheritance. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled Preserved. While I was clearing out the garden in preparation for spring planting, I pulled up a large clump of winter weeds and leapt into the air. A venomous copperhead snake lay hidden in the undergrowth just below my hand, an inch lower and I would have grabbed it by mistake. I saw its colorful markings as soon as I lifted the clump. The rest of it was coiled in the weeds between my feet. When my feet hit the ground a few feet away, I thanked God I hadn't been bitten, and I wondered how many other times he had kept me from dangers I never knew were there. God watches over his people. Moses told the Israelites before they entered the promised land, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. They couldn't see God, but he was with them nonetheless. Sometimes difficult things happen that we may not understand, but we can also reflect on the number of times God has preserved us without our ever being aware. Scripture reminds us that his perfect providential care, care remains over his people every day. He's always with us. How does the biblical truth that God watches over his people comfort you? Who can you tell about his faithfulness today? Faithful Father, thank you for watching over me every day. Please give me grace to walk closely with you in every day, everything I do today. And Lord, I want to pray for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. You know, I'm sure that that's true with me. Uh, you know, I've almost died three times. And uh, I'm sure there's been other times that he's been by my side. And, and I, I don't even know. It. I mean, he's been by my side, but I mean, you know, help me. Uh, from having something bad happen to me. And, uh, you know, that's that's something to think about, and I'm sure he's been, done that for everyone. So, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's devotions. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that <laughs> so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with everybody you know, please. Uh, I hope everybody has a great day. It looks like it's sunny out there. So, Maybe it'll warm up some. It wasn't all, the, it was pretty cold yesterday morning, really, but then it got up to like 50. So maybe it'll, it'll be a little bit warmer out there. I need to walk some uh, for sure. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll be seeing you later on on Morning Coffee Break. God bless.